you on a weight loss journey and you get attack of the munchers or you've been overeaten yesterday i received a private dm asking if on my journey i've ever had the attack of the munchers or i've overate and the answer is yes i was also asked how did i deal with that and honestly it takes time to change your mindset but i'm going to share today some top tips on what i learnt on my journey so far and even some stuff the nhs taught me as well on my tier three weight management. So you're on a weight loss journey, you're trying to lose weight, but you're hungry. When you're on a healthy living journey, it shouldn't be about not eating. It should be about noticing the difference between the mind and the heart. My dietitian said to me the other day, it's not about never having foods again. It's about eating it for the right reasons because your heart's happy, your heart wants to. About being mindful of portions. You know, we only get to live once. It'd be boring to just say no to everything ever again. The scenario is you're on track, you've had a really good week, but today you're really hungry and you want to eat chocolate, crisps, you know, anything that hasn't got nutrition in it, but you've just got that craving. There are a few different tools you can use and I'll share those with you now. The simplest one, are you thirsty? Have you drank enough? And answer yourself honestly as well. Think, am I thirsty? If the answer is yes, Hydrate. If you're still hungry in 10 minutes, 15 minutes time, have a snack. What's the scale of hungriness that you're on? Where zero is very, very, very full, over full, and 10 is extremely starving. If you're at the lower end of that scale, you're quite full, it's emotional hunger, stress hunger, like what I call a trigger hunger, and you want to eat to deal with that. Distraction techniques. It can be a distraction technique of your choice. It could be going out on a 15 minute walk. It could be having some self-care time, having a face mask, a bath. It could be self-soothing and saying compassionate statements to yourself. Having a list ready is really helpful as well. I'm worthy. I can do this. I've got this etc etc sit with the hunger and be mindful of how are you feeling emotionally you can even create a self-soothing box like picky pads or coloring box anything to distract you anything to distract you you can swap hands if you're right-handed eat with your left hand that slows down your eating if i'm feeling stressed and i think actually i want a packet of crisps it's not about not having those crisps it's about understanding portion control rather than buying a huge big bag of crisps or eating five packets of crisps i've never done that ever but i'm using it as an example you take a small portion you take it away with no distractions you go and sit in a happy corner or out in the sun if it's out and you enjoy that food eat it slowly enjoy it make your heart happy it's guilt free it's portioned if you're snacking because you're very hungry then i would say to eat high fiber high protein foods this will keep you feeling fuller for longer but not only that it actually burns off more calories because your body finds it harder to digest protein than any other food source just say about slowing your pace we're all going to snack at some time and if you're going to think about slowing your pace so you eat slowly mindfully and this gives time for your stomach to let your brain know that you're full and and help signal like I said, fullness and satis satisfaction, that's not the word, let you know that you're satisfied. The NHS said to eat without distraction either, so not on your phone, not watching TV, any sort of distraction where you're not mindful of the food that you're eating. They suggest to always be present and mindful, and I've found this really helpful. I actually eat less when I'm present and mindful. Are other people forcing food on you? Like saying, oh, come on, come on, have it. Set your boundaries, say no. The more you say no, when you actually don't want it, you've just got peer pressure, saying no is a really good feeling. Or are you a person that when food is on your plate, you don't like leaving it? Or someone's else dished up your food and it's too much? What I would say is reduce that portion of food on your plate. Have a smaller portion and if you're still hungry afterwards, you can dish up some more. It's okay to have more food if you're still hungry. And especially if you're being present and mindful when you're eating as well. Having a drink of water with your dinner, it's crazy how just making these little changes can have a humongous effect on positivity. Positivity. You know what I'm trying to say. It can have a huge effect on your lifestyle, your mindset, your soul, 
your heart. And lastly, I'd say, be compassionate to yourself. Learn how to talk to yourself nicely. We are all really guilty at some point in our lives of talking to ourselves like shit telling us that we're not worthy, we tell ourselves we're fat or ugly, we say some really horrible stuff and we wouldn't say that to our best friends. So why don't we make ourselves our own best friends and talk to ourselves nicely? And that is something I've taken the past few years to learn. It didn't come easy, but with time, you'll get it, you'll get there. Just feel less guilty because you're eating a healthy, well-balanced diet and that does include non-nutritious foods. And I forgot what I was saying, so I'm going to leave it there. But any questions, please let me know.